Hi guys! Today we are going to discuss how to use or how to read the Moliere chart. So this is what we call the Moliere diagram. Well, as you can see, marami tayo masyadong nakikitang lines dito sa ating diagram ngayon. No? So we're going to break it down para maintindihan natin siya and malaman natin kung paano natin gagamitin itong Moliere diagram. But for our examples, para sa simplicity, gagamit tayo ng mas madali or less complicated na Moliere diagram. Okay, so first, let us explain ano ba itong Moliere diagram. So, it is also known as the Enthalpy Entropy Diagram or the HS Diagram. So, it is called as Enthalpy Entropy Diagram because as you can see, our x-axis here is the specific entropy expressed in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. While our y-axis here is our specific enthalpy expressed in kilojoule per kilogram. Okay? So, this is why it is also called as the enthalpy entropy diagram. Okay, so why do we use the Moliere diagram? It plots the total heat against entropy, describing the enthalpy of a thermodynamic system. In other words, it is a graphical representation of a functional relationship between enthalpy, entropy, temperature, pressure, and quality of the steam. So, kung hindi kayo masyadong pamilyar kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng quality of the steam, you can always review yung previous video natin kung saan in-explain natin kung ano ba tong quality of the steam. But one thing that we need to take note that in using the Moliere chart, uh, you can only use it for superheated steam and when the quality of the steam is greater than 50%. Okay, so mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan para mas maintindihan natin siya. Alright, so now let us break down yung parts ng ating Moliere diagram. So, we will be using this Moliere diagram. So, less complicated siya kumpara dun sa pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, mas kaunti yung details natin dito. But basically, it is the same way we're going to read this chart and the previous one na binigay nating example. No? So, let us first break down yung mga parts natin. So, sabi natin kanina... Our x-axis here is our specific entropy. No? It is expressed in kilojoules per Kelvin kilogram. So, first, tignan natin itong mga vertical lines dito. No? So, meron tayong mga vertical lines dito sa ating diagram. So, we know that you can only have a vertical diagram here if our entropy is constant. Okay? So, kapag constant ang ating ang entropy, that means we will have vertical lines. So, therefore, these vertical lines is what we call the constant entropy line. Okay? So, yan ang ating mga vertical lines dito sa ating Moliere chart. Okay? So, now, meron din tayong mga horizontal lines here. Diba? So, hanggang dun yan sa dulo, guys, no? But, I will not be able to put a line sa lahat. But, this is basically what I mean. Itong mga uh, horizontal lines natin dito. So, alam natin that our y-axis is our specific enthalpy which is expressed in kilojoule per kilogram. So, that means, magkakaroon lang tayo ng horizontal lines if we have um, constant enthalpy. So, therefore, this lines is called um, constant enthalpy line. Okay? So, these lines are called constant enthalpy lines. Now, once you look at our uh, Moliere diagram, you will always see this uh, line right here, no? this curve right here, which is always presented bold. No? Laging mas makapal yan kumpara sa lahat ng lines dito. Well, this line is what we call the saturation line. And the saturation line is the line where the steam is dry and saturated. Okay, so that means dito sa line na to, okay, our saturation line, Okay, our substance or our steam is actually dry and saturated. So, ipapakita natin mamaya yan once we explain itong ating uh, dryness fraction. No? Now, before that, let us explain first itong parts ng ating Moliere diagram. So, ito yung ating saturation line, di ba? Above our saturation line, okay, so this portion is our superheated steam. And ano naman tong nasa ibaba ng ating saturation line? Below our saturation line 
is our wet steam. Okay, so below our saturation line is our wet steam. Okay, so let us explain first itong ating wet steam. Okay, so makikita ninyo meron tayo ditong red lines. Okay? Okay, so itong mga red lines na nakikita natin dito, it has a specific values. Okay? So let me encircle itong mga values ng ating red lines. No? So we have here, this one, this one, this one. Okay? So these lines are what we call the dryness fraction or the steam quality na represented ng variable x. Uh, as I said before, you can review yung ating previous video about steam quality or dryness fraction para maintindihan natin kung anong ibig sabihin niyan. But basically, the steam quality or the dryness fraction actually represent how dry our steam is or how much moisture is present in our steam. So that is why here in our saturation line, as we have said before, this is dry and saturated. That is why our X here or our steam quality is equal to 1. Our X is equal to 1. Which means in here, uh, our steam is totally dry. Okay, we do not have moisture in our saturation line. If you recall our formula for our steam quality, uh, we have X is equal to the mass of the vapor over the total mass of our steam. Okay? Ano naman tong mga blue lines na nakikita natin dito? Yung mga pataas. Okay? So, these blue lines, as you can see, yung units niya, this is expressed in bar. So, that means this is in unit of pressure. This is actually what we call the constant pressure lines or the isobars. Okay? So, these are constant pressure lines. And then, ito namang green lines natin. Okay? Itong mga nakikita ninyong green lines dito. Uh, it is expressed in degree Celsius. Okay? So, that means this is a temperature. This is actually a constant temperature lines or the isotherms. Okay? So, these are the constant temperature lines or isotherms. So, as you can see, we already identified yung mga parts ng ating Molière diagram. Now, it is time to show you paano ba natin ito gagamitin in our subjects in thermodynamics. Okay, so we have here a situation. Ito yung ating uh, Molière diagram. Then we have a dry saturated steam. So our given here tells us that we have a dry saturated steam. Okay, then given yung condition ng ating steam at pressure 1, which is 4 bar, and pressure 2, which is 0 0.1 bar. Okay, so katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, using the Molière diagram, we will be able to identify the enthalpy of our steam. No? Now, first let us try to uh, check kung nasaan ba ang ating uh, point dito sa first condition natin, which is 4 bar. Our P1 is 4 bar. Okay? So, ito yung ating pressure, no? Ito, ating uh, constant pressure lines. So, as you can see, ito yung ating 4 bar na pressure right here. Diba? So, that means we will be following ang line na yan. Now, we have a dry saturated steam. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin dito is itong saturation line natin. Itong bold na red line na nakikita natin dito. No? But since we have 4 bar, constant pressure, so we will be following this line papunta dito sa ating saturation line. And we finally reach this area here. So that means this is our uh, point. Okay? Uh, pressure of 4 bar and in our saturation line. So with that, we will be able to uh, identify yung ating enthalpy, no? You just need to extend this papunta sa ating y-axis, which is our enthalpy, no? So, if you extend this, we will be able to get our H1. Okay? So, you just need to extend ito papunta sa y-axis. Now, our pressure 2 is 0 0.1 bar. 
So this is our line, okay? We have 0 0.1 bar right here, no? Yung ating constant pressure line. So, we will be, uh, we need to find out kung nasan yung point natin, okay? Uh, having our pressure at 0 0.1 bar. Now, we have to take note that in turbines, isentropic process is carried out. Okay, so if we have isentropic process, that means our entropy is constant. No? So we will be uh, extending this one, our point downward, papunta sa ating uh, 0 0.1 bar pressure. No? So we will be extending this down. Okay, so nasa yung ating 0 0.1 bar na graph, it was here. So that means we'll be extending it to here. Tama ba? No, sumobra tayo. 0 0.1 bar is just up to here. Okay? Okay, so tama na yan. Ito. This is our 0 0.1 bar. So, we will be extending that sa ating y axis. So, we have now here our h2. Okay? So, if you want to get yung heat drop, okay? So, let's say we need to get the heat drop. Okay. Heat drop. So, this is equal to H1 minus H2. You just need to read dito sa graph ano yung value ng H1 and value ng H2. Then, you will be able to get the heat drop. Now, let us try to use our Molière chart kapag meron naman tayong superheated steam. So as you can see kanina, no, if we are using uh, the dry saturated steam na line, kailangan lang natin ng dalawang parameter. So given lang is yung pressure 1 and pressure 2. But now if we are working with superheated steam, we need three um, parameters. No? So we have here now condition 1 which is P1 and T1. So, our P1 is 20 bar. So, saan ba yung 20 bar natin dito? Our 20 bar is this one. Okay? And then, our T1 is 450 degrees Celsius. So, our temperature is here. 450 degrees Celsius. So, we need to see kung saan magmi-meet yung 20 bar and 450 degree Celsius. No? So, let's see here. Our 20 bar is here, up to here. And then our 450 degrees Celsius is here. So that means they will meet on this point. Okay, tama ba? 20 bar and 450 degree Celsius. So ito yung point natin. So to get the enthalpy, you just need to extend that sa ating uh, y-axis, no? So, this is our H1. Of course, to get this, kailangan natin gumamit ng ruler, no? Para sigurado tayo sa makukuha nating values. And now, our point 2, kailangan nating malocate. Our pressure is 0 0.1 bar. Saan, saan yung ating 0 0.1 bar? Again, it's right here. So, ito yung ating line. So, as I said, we have a centropic process. So, we will extend this down papunta sa 0 0.1 bar. Okay, so 0 0.1 bar is right here. Okay, so ito yung point ng ating uh, condition 2. And then, if you want to get the enthalpy, we will extend that here, and that will be our H2. Okay? Okay, so let's go to our third condition. So, hindi ko siya naisulat, no? But, let us make one. Dahil na sagutan na natin yung dry saturated steam and superheated steam. So, now let us try to solve a wet steam. Okay, so we have a wet, wet steam right here. Now, uh, tagay tayo ng ating condition. So, let's say our pressure 1 is, let's say, 4 bar. And then, our quality of the steam is um, 0 0.95. And then, our P2 is, um, let's say, again, ganun na lang uli, 0 0.1 bar. Tulad ng mga naunang examples. Na? So, now, let us identify that dito sa ating molier chart. So, as you can see, if we have wet steam, 
uh, meron tayong given dito na quality ng ating steam. If you remember sa ating definition, sabi natin, we can use the Mollier chart uh, provided that we have a superheated steam or the quality of our steam is greater than 50%. If you look at this Mollier chart, you can see that the quality of the steam at the lowest value here on this particular graph is 0.65. So below this, we will not be able to read on this Mollier diagram, di ba? So, now let us try to solve this. Our P1 is 4 bar. So, nasan ba yung 4 bar dito sa ating Mollier chart? It is this one. Okay? And then, we have a quality of the steam X1 which is 0 0.95. So, ito yung ating quality of steam. Ito mga red lines natin dito. And we have here 0 0.95. So, titignan natin kung saan nag-meet yung 4 bar and 0 0.95. So, this is our 4 bar. So, let's just follow the line. And you can see dito tayo mag-meet. No? So, dito sa area na to. That means that is our point 0.1. And to get the enthalpy on this point, we will extend this papunta sa ating Y coordinate. Then, as you can see, we have our H1 here. Alright, so now our condition 2, our pressure is in 0 0.1 bar. So, ito naman yung ating 0 0.1 bar. Then, sundan natin itong line ng 0 0.1 bar. And, this is the 1. Huh? Ah, kaduling. So, let's say here. So, we will extend this. Pababa, we have isentropic uh, condition here. So, this is our second point. So, if we want to get the enthalpy on that point, we will extend that dito sa ating y coordinate. Then, we will have our h2 here. Right? So, katulad nung example natin kanina, if you want to get the heat drop, you just need to subtract our h1 with h2. Okay, so there you will get our heat drop. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day.